Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mal and I am here with a hair review video, you guys. This hair is from Nia Wigs. Now the hair that I'm wearing right now on my head is from this company. I absolutely love this unit, you guys, for multiple reasons. I'm definitely going to get into that and I will show you the exact install, how I put it on, um, also how I achieved this bomb color. So I'm going to show you all the details in the video. So if you want to continue finding out more about this hair, then let's keep on watching. <music> did not come in this color of course I dyed this hair so I am gonna show you exactly the clips of what I did and exactly how I did it um, hello guys and welcome to me trying to dye this hair I really hope that this turns out well you guys I absolutely love the way this hair feels. It's so soft, it feels amazing. So I think it's gonna take the dye really well. But yes, I am gonna be giving a whirl at adding some blonde streaks to this hair. I'm gonna add them to the front and possibly throughout. And we're gonna see, we're gonna see what happens. This is the natural color selection of the wig. So I am about to dye this hair. Let's get into it. This is the skin base from Nia Wigs and the parting looks super natural. It's lace at the front and then it has this texture that looks like scalp on the top so it's not full lace. I will show you guys all those specs after but I just wanted to get on here and show you guys what the actual hair looks like just placed on my head just for now. So let's do it, let's dye it. Hopefully it turns out well. Come along with me. So guys, let's get started on dyeing this hair. The first thing you need is some developer, some bleach. This is the Joico bleach, and some gloves, and a mixing bowl and brush. Also tin foil. I am mixing 20 volume developer with my bleach and giving it a really good stir until it's about a yogurt-like consistency. Um, I honestly just eyeball it, but if you're not, very good at dyeing you definitely want to make your concoction a bit more on the runny side because when bleach is dry it stops working that's a good tip um, the other thing that I just wanted to point out is that I'm using a 20 volume developer because I am not super fast at this so the, the lower volume the developer is the more time you have for it to process so the 20 volume allowed me to leave this on the hair for an hour while I worked my way through the whole head. It's just a side note. Anyway, um, here I am coating the hair. I actually just sectioned off the little front piggy tails so that I knew how much hair I wanted for the blonde streaks in the front. And I also sectioned off the front sections um, because I knew that that was like the most important part, important part for me. Um, as I apply this, I'm really saturating it. I'm working the color through by kind of like using my fingers to wiggle the color down. And yeah, just making sure that there's a really good amount of bleach in there so that the product will process properly. So I am just working my way through that and folding it up like a little wrap and letting it sit. So I'm going section by section and adding the highlights and again just making sure that I'm putting a lot of product on this hair so that it distributes evenly and doesn't have any like spots where the bleach did not penetrate the hair because that would look really bad. Um, so just making sure that I'm saturating the hair and taking section by section trying to make it even on each side of the head. So this part you really don't want to be lazy with. Once I was complete the entire head with highlights, there is 
a next step which is actually opening each tinfoil piece and double checking to make sure the color has saturated it properly so I'm working my hands through and then adding a bit more bleach if necessary so that it stays moist this whole process honestly took me probably like an hour and a half an hour and 45 minutes and that's why i highly suggest using a low volume developer if you're slow because it won't damage the hair and it will work so once i finished all that i let it sit for another half hour or so and then i washed the bleach out of the hair the total processing time like i said was about an hour and a half and this was my result i wanted to tone it so i grabbed whatever toner i had I used the Feria, this was like a blue gray, and then also I had some Guy Tang um, bronze metallic left over. I popped this on all over the hair, let it sit for about a half hour, 45 minutes, and voila! This is my finished result. I am in love with it, you guys. So of course after dyeing it, I could not wait to put it on my head and start playing with this hair. So I gave myself a few face trimming layers, gave it a good brush and kind of began styling it in the way that I wanted which my preference is a beautiful loose wave. The hair came naturally straight so I added some layers with my flat iron and I will be showing you exactly how I applied and style this wig in the next clips. I hope you guys are doing amazing. So I am here with my wig slightly on. It is coming off a little bit here and just a little bit here. I had a busy weekend, so I kind of just kept reapplying it, but I wanted to do a refresh and restyle the hair just to show you exactly what it's looking like. So, like I said, I've been wearing this hair all long weekend, and I've been loving it, honestly. It's exactly the style that I wanted, and um, I'm really happy with how the color turned out and the hair quality feels amazing there is no shedding no tangling it's extremely soft it's also very thick from the mid to the bottom of the hair um which is just something that i wanted to point out because a lot of times when you get wigs especially if you've ever ordered wigs online i know i've had the problem where i'll get it it looks great but it gets thinner and thinner as it gets to the bottom this one is thick all the way through um, it's all one length, so I'm really loving it. Anyway, let's get into restyling this hair and sprucing it up and showing you guys the finished results in my Neo wigs. I'm gonna go in with my Got To Be Glued spray and we are gonna fix the front of this head. Okay, yes you guys, so I have laid the hair down. I did use a little bit of mousse just to kind of smooth the front of the hair, the little baby hairs, and um, just to kind of style the front because I like to kind of flip it up. Like I said, I'm not a pro with wigs, you guys. I literally just do what I feel like I know with what I can. Um, and when I have like units as easy to install as this one, I feel confident in, you know, creating a little look. So I'm gonna get in close and show you guys what the part looks like of this wig. So the reason that this wig looks so natural is they have an innovative technology that they've used in the parting area. It looks like your skin with your hair growing out of it. When I first saw the realistic looking scalp, I thought that it was a bit strange and I wasn't sure what to think of it when it would actually be on my head, but I absolutely love it. So one of the main things that I love about this unit is the part. The part looks extremely natural. It looks like the hair is growing straight from your scalp. 
I am not a wig guru. I am by no means a pro at doing hair. I just know enough to kind of get me by. Um, so having a unit that already comes looking natural and like it could be my real hair is ideal for me. The only thing that I had to do was glue the front down and I did a little bit of tailoring the wig just to ensure that it looked exactly how I wanted, you know, adding a little trim here and there, cutting some baby hairs, and that was it, you guys. And of course, I had to show you guys what the beautiful packaging looked like. It came with a complimentary brush and a silk bag to store the unit. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed my review and a mini tutorial on how I styled and colored this hair from Nia Wigs. Once again, this is the skin face wig from Nia Wigs and I think I've said it a million times, I love it. Um, this has been my summer hair for the past like week-ish or weekend-ish. Um, and I've gotten so many compliments on it. It looks just like my natural hair and that is what I love the most because I am not a master at wigs. So something that's easy and looks natural is my favorite thing. Now I did promise you a discount code at the end. So make sure you use my code MAL15 for $15 off your purchase on this unit from Mia Wigs. Um, I will put it on the screen here. It's M-A-L-1-5 for $15 off your purchase. And let me know what you guys think of this hair. Do you like how I styled it? Do you like how I colored it? Um, I'd love to hear your guys' opinions. So leave me a comment down below in the comment section. If this video helped you, give me a big thumbs up and recommend it or share it somewhere for other people to see so maybe they can learn as well. I will leave links below for all of Nia Wig's websites or socials so you can find them, check out what other products they have. I will also leave my links below for everything that I use, that I'm wearing, etc, etc, etc. So make sure that you check the description box if you want any other information or shoot me a message. Um, my Instagram is Lowkey Mallory. You can follow me there if you want to see more pictures of my hair or anything else. Thank you to Nia Wigs for sending me this beautiful hair and I hope that you guys have an amazing rest of your night, day, whatever it may be. Bye!